this is Vipula Silla from Digital Art Tutors. Today we are going to learn how to model a solitaire in using Rhino 3D. So let's get started. Create this uh, solitaire in. Uh, this will be a two part uh, tutorial. So I hope uh, this will uh, uh, give you some idea on how to create uh, jewelry in Rhino. Okay. <clears throat> the first thing is uh, I will just import this uh, design into my uh, viewport using picture frame command. The first thing that I have to do is first I have to uh, create the stone inside the rhino. Let's start it. So make uh, one carat stone which is uh, 6.5 in diameter. Okay. So let's offset this curve slightly to be 50% and put a point into the center. After that I can just uh, move this curve which is uh, I have created for the table of the stone. Uh, creating stones, there are several ways of doing this. Uh, actually, I am uh, following one one of that method. Let's push this point towards down. Normally, <coughs> uh, precision cut stone, uh, the height of the stone would be 60 to 65 percent of the diameter. Uh, after just moving the curves and point, let's uh, create the surface using lock command. Selecting the curves and the point in order. Right. If this is not coming like this way, just try to change the style. Uh, it will be normal uh, initially, but you can change it to trade section. After that, I can just cap this top opening using boolean commands, cap plan holes. Right. It's done. After that, I had to uh, create the stone case. For that time, I just uh, switch my layer to red color. This is for the easier of uh, doing the modeling. Always try to keep uh, certain parts of the design in uh, several uh, layers. <coughs> so I'll be selecting that uh, line which I used to create the stone. So first thing I will offset this by 0 0.05. This is for the, as you know, jewelry in jewelry making. Uh, we are considering shrinkage. That's uh, getting the model smaller when it comes at the final item. After offsetting the curve, again I will apply offset command. Uh, let's take 0.8. This will be the width of the stone case after that uh, again there are several ways of uh, doing this I just uh, using this gumball I can uh, with, uh, clicking the alt key I just move this somewhere here it's actually duplicating the curves after that I want to have a kind of tapered uh, look if you take this stone uh, it has uh, two bezels, right? So I'll be creating two two bezels, and also you can see the prong is going inward, right? So let's take this one. So I'll just offset, five. Delete this one. You can offset, delete this one. After that, you can uh, just apply the lock command and outer two curves again lock command then top two curves again you can apply lock command and bottom two curves again that's done after that you have to make sure that all the surfaces needed to be joined using joint command 
Now you can see in this wireframe, this uh, uh, stone case has uh, the width of 0.8 and since this uh, the stone is having this kind of anchor in the pavilion, so you can just apply chamfer command, this one, let's select, the, it's asking for the edge, so I'll select the inner edge and just click enter now you can see this uh, chamfer is going outside of that uh, stone case just just make it smaller okay okay great right so my stone and the stone case is done so what i have to do is first i go to the front view and uh, create a uh, circle this we will consider as the ring rail so in this case I will create uh, millimeter 17 just uh, keep this stone case somewhere here okay, right. now if you take this uh, design you can see now it has a stone uh, kind of stone uh, bezel here Right, so it is not that uh, much higher than considering the stone somewhere in the between the culet and the uh, girdle. So, so I'll just put a box here, something like this, somewhere here. I can cut out this one using the command boolean difference like this. Now what I have to do is I have to create the prongs. You can see the prongs <coughs> it's in 45 degree angle. So let's create a curve which is starting somewhere here and it should go inside. It's okay if you can uh, just uh, uh, in this curve just inside that uh, ring there. You can see the curve is here, but I want to have it in 45 degrees. So just click uh, or type command zero enter, then you can uh, give the angle 45 and press enter. Let's apply solid pipe command. Since this is 6.5, let's uh, apply the radius as 0.05. Right. So I share it and see. So we can just push this little bit inside. Like this. Okay, done. So after that I have to mirror it, again select both and mirror to the other side, okay. Now this part actually it's bigger than the um, prong ending, so I'll just remove that. This one, again this bezel as I mentioned earlier. This is not actually placed just after the just below the girdle. So I just push this little bit down. Something like this. Okay. Now the next thing is actually there's a stone here. So so what I do is I'll just duplicate this stone using Nord and push this arrow. Now I took the stone as 6.5, so this side stone I feel uh, 
somewhere 1.5 so what I have to do is I have to create this uh, small edge stone okay so uh, we'll continue uh, from this point I'll create the next video